started and we won't keep it too long tonight. Let's open up with a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you. We praise you. And we just glorify you on this midweek refill. God, we thank you for today, God, the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. God, we thank you for each and every one of them. And God, we thank you for ordering our steps throughout this day. Father, we know that a, the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. So God, we thank you for keeping a hedge of protection around us from danger seen and unseen. Now, God, we pray. And we invite you into this space. We ask that you would just have your way, God. Have your way in a mighty way. Show up, God, on a on a Wednesday mid refill. Show up in that home. Show up in show up in that cubicle, God. Whatever you want to do, God, have your way. And we'll be mindful and careful to give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Man, can we go ahead and bless God on a Wednesday night, even before we get started? Come on. Yeah. Hey, we, we kicked it off this morning with an amazing time in prayer. I yeah. thank God we had 18 show up today. I yeah. thank God it's growing. So come on, y'all. Come on, jump on. I know it's a sacrifice. I know it's a sacrifice, but you you will be blessed. You will be blessed. Start your day off with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So many people and yes. you know just coming it's together in prayer. I'll be just riding in the church just to cheese in it. Normally I might not be cheesing. I might be talking about the other drivers, but today, <laughs> today was a good day. Yeah. Yeah. Nice today, too. Today, today was a good day. day. Yeah. Well, let's go to the uh eleventh uh, division of Psalm. Uh today is the eleventh of October. October. Mm-hmm. October. So we're gonna look at Psalm eleven, just gonna look at two verses. And I want to thank Minister Bell for showing up last week and covering Amen. Yes. 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 blessing our yes. spot, family and friends. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We're keeping her in prayer. She got a she got a uh, wedding this this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So let's look at verse three and four. Verse three and four. Uh, Psalm eleven, verse three and four, mm-hmm. and it reads as such: When the foundations uh, are being destroyed, what mm-hmm. can the righteous do? Mm-hmm. Verse four says, the Lord is in his holy temple. The mm-hmm. Lord is on his heavenly throne. Mm-hmm. He observes everyone on earth. His eyes examine them. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. can the righteous do when the foundations around us are being destroyed? You know, this is so timely. I mean, I mean, God is just amazing because If you haven't been under a rock or if you haven't just, you know, been doing one of them grandma fast and haven't had your TVs or radios on, Mm -hmm. um, you would know what's going on in this, not only in our country, but Mm -hmm. around this world over in the Middle East and Mm -hmm. wars and things that's going on, the the, uh, the, uh, war that's going on right now with Israel and and the Palestinians and, and, you know, it's just all of this stuff going on, you know, abroad and then even locally. And uh, so it just makes you wonder with this scripture, you know, when the foundations are being destroyed, Mm -hmm. what can the righteous do? And I think about that and and I want to just tag this tonight and we won't be long, but I want to talk about confidence during chaos. Mm -hmm. Confidence during chaos, because if the truth be told, we are in a chaotic uh, time right now. It's just yes. chaos here, chaos there. And then we turn around, it's maybe chaos on the job and some chaos in the family. But what do you do during that time? But I think that the most important thing is we must continue to be confident. Mm-hmm. And when you think about confidence, when it comes to a Christian, that means we must be steadfast, mm-hmm. unremovable, always abiding in the, in the works of the Lord. We must continue to walk by faith and not by sight, because if you turn that TV on, you mm-hmm. you'll end up being yes. end up being fearful of the thing that's going on. Yes. And I would yes. I just want to share, you know, this is not a surprise to to any believer that these wars mm-hmm. are going on. You know, the Bible talks about yes. that. You know, toward the end of time, there will be wars, and rumors of wars. Mm-hmm. There will be, men will be lovers of themselves, yes. Come on, y'all. Pride will just begin to take over. And if you just really think about what the Bible has said about the the times that we're living in, it is coming to manifestation. And and so it's no surprise to us, but can we just be honest tonight that it seems like 
the foundations are being destroyed around us. And I want to just talk for a moment because what do you do mm -hmm. as a as a as a Christian when it seems like everything around you is falling apart? Well, I want to tell you, if the only way you can really keep your peace in a in the midst of a storm like this is you must stay connected with God. Mm. Because God's presence is key in order to keep his uh, peace, because there's no better feeling than being in not only God's presence, but having God's peace. Yes. Have yes. you ever had just that peace yes. that surpasses yes. all understanding? I mean, when it seems like the, like the Bible say, when the foundations are falling apart, when it seems like things are just coming apart on, on the left and the right, but you have this peace that surpasses all understanding. I mean, this is a sense of security. This is a sense of sanity. This is a sense of solace. And I love this because in these moments, we must understand that it all goes back to us being saved and sanctified in God. Come on, somebody. I just want to teach a little bit tonight because the strength of the Lord is what we lean on during seasons like this. Because if the problem can still be present, but we can still have peace in the midst of it, then something on the inside is working and is helping us walk and maneuver, maneuver on the outside. Mm -hmm. Am I talking to somebody today that if it had not been for the peace on the inside of you, you would have lost it and you would have fell apart just as the foundations fell apart around you. But I love this because salvation, watch this, is not built on a feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. But rather, it's built on the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and the faith that's inside of us. I think mm. I need to say that again. Salvation is not a feeling because sometimes we don't feel it, <laughs> but it's yeah. the Holy Spirit on the Thank inside you, of us mm -hmm. that continues to keep us moving and keep us safe in the midst. And, and it also gives us that navigation system on where to go and where not to go, yes, what yes. to say and what not to yes. say. And I thank God for the Holy Ghost because there's moments where you just want to snap, crackle, pop. You want to tell somebody a piece of your mind. And yes. if you do that, then you're going to lose your peace. Mm -hmm. and I love it because God never promised that the foundation of this world would last, but he did promise us that his, the foundation of his word will last. Mm -hmm. In Isaiah 40, here's your first scripture, Isaiah 40 and 8. It says the grass will wither, mm -hmm. the flowers will fade, but the word of God will stand forever. That means when everything else is falling apart around you, that word mm -hmm. will continue to live in you. Oh, I think yeah. I need to say that again. Yeah. When everything else is falling apart around you, that word will continue to live in you. And mm -hmm. that's what I understand when Revelations 22 and 13 says, I am the alpha and the omega. I am the first and the last. I am the beginning and the end. God says, I knew this was going to happen before it happened. Mm -hmm. God says the foundation of the word, word, word of God is the best place for us to build mm -hmm. and to live on. And it, that's where our foundation starts. Mm -hmm. And here it is, whether you believe it or not, I've understand this. I've come to realize this, that building something, mm -hmm. it takes faith. <laughs> yes, yes. we talked about it Sunday you yes. know when I talked about Noah and I said it hadn't rained and and God just spoke to Noah and said you need to build a, a boat mm -hmm. and he, Noah Noah could have easily thought God was losing his mind or he didn't hear what he thought he heard but mm -hmm. thanks be to God yes. that Noah was Thank connected you, Noah had the type mm -hmm. of faith that said if God said it that settles it yes. because yes. Jesus is the rock of our salvation and I love this because we can't go off the world system, but we must go off of the word system. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. We got to understand that God be for us. Thank he is Lord. more than the world against us. And see, yes. when the storms and the floods of life come, we must rest on the promises of God. Because Psalms 18 and 2 says, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my stronghold in whom I take refuge. I love it right there because this is the question that Dave, David posed. And I want to talk about it tonight. What do the righteous do when the storm comes? What does the righteous do when it seems like everybody has turned their back on us? What do the righteous do when it seems like it's wars over here and wars over there? 
violence over here, mm -hmm. killings over there. Mm -hmm. What do the righteous do? Well, I'm going to help you on tonight because the first thing we have to do is we must stay connected to God. Yes. Mm. See we mm -hmm. must stay connected to God. It says it right there in verse one. It says, in the Lord, I take refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to mm -hmm. your mountain? Mm -hmm. David mm -hmm. starts off this psalm right here in mm -hmm. verse one. says, the Lord is my refuge. Mm. And then he started talking to his haters. I mean, his enemies. Mm. He says, then how can you tell me to flee like a bird to your mountains? And this is what I love about this because D David was, in other words, saying people were trying to put fear where faith should be. Mm -hmm. mm. Because anytime <clears throat> that storms come, anytime when situations happen in life, you best believe people are going to challenge your faith. They're going to mm -hmm. challenge your, your walk with God. They're going to challenge you even in what the word that you say you have in you. Because the first thing that naturally happens when things happen around us is that fear fear will call, come in. It, when things start falling apart, fear will try to creep in. Have I got a witness on here tonight? Because mm -hmm. notice, notice what fear stands for in the natural. It stands for forget everything and run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what, that's what it was saying in verse one. Flee like a bird to your mountain. In other words, you, you he wanted you to be fearful of what's going on. So any, any in other words, forget everything and run. Mm -hmm. But we don't do that mm -hmm. because we have the word in us. Mm -hmm. We walk in the spirit, man, and not in the flesh. So therefore, in the spiritual, yeah. fear means face everything and rise. I need somebody to write that down yeah. because you are you are up against a storm right now and it seems like fear is trying to creep in and you need that that acronym right now that tells you you got to face it everything. and rise up face mm -hmm. everything and rise up and oftentimes you even um tell us you know to be careful whose voice we're listening to yes. because yes. oftentimes people will cast their fears upon you mm. so you know we you as believers as am i going to hit as believers you know we just got to make sure we're listening to god's voice and you even say a sunday about surrounding yourself around people especially weak times or just different times people who can encourage who can pour into mm -hmm. you oftentimes because people mm -hmm. that they will project their fears mm -hmm. onto you especially mm -hmm. like that, but we should That's not true. be listening to the world. Yeah, come on, come on. be listening, like you said, come to the world. That's come right, on. Lady Val. <laughs> come on, come on, Lady Val. Because see, mm, come we on. have to continue That's to right, Lady trust Val. God. Like, I think I said this Sunday also, we got to continue mm -hmm. to trust God, even in these moments where mm -hmm. we can't trace him. Yes. That, that requires faith. Mm -hmm. Because yes. people will run to us quick and say, well, what is going on? What 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 should you do? What will you do in, in times like mm -hmm. this? I'm going to lean on God. Yes, yes, Amen. yes. That's maybe why Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, trust, trust in the Lord, Lord with all of mm -hmm. our heart and lean not to our own understanding. Because there are some things, even being a blood-bought Christian, yes. even being just baptized, mean. even being filled with the Holy Ghost, some stuff we just don't understand mm -hmm. ourselves. Don't try to have an answer for everything. everything. Come on. Just say that you can go to the word of God and find an answer. I'm not going to act like I know it all, but I know the Bible who can tell it all. Come on, y'all. And I love this, though. David blessed me because the first thing he says to start off this psalm in verse one, it says, in the Lord, I take refuge. In other words, when everything is falling apart around us, we must take refuge in the Lord. We must take shelter in the Lord. And, and that reminds me of this perfect picture that this man said he went to uh, this store and he seen it was a picture of a, a storm. I mean, it was lightning. It was it was uh, storming. The rain was coming down hard and it was a picture of a mountain. And if you didn't if you didn't look real hard, it was this little dove that was right in his nest, right under the right under the rock of this mountain, the cliff of this mountain. And he was just chilling. It wasn't up. It didn't it wasn't frightened or anything by the storm. And he said he loved that picture. Picture because although this storm and the lightning was going on around the, the dove, the dove was just chilling. The dove was safe because yeah. he took refuge in his nest. He took refuge yeah. in the area that he's in. And I want to tell Thank somebody you. that's the same thing that God is telling us. Yeah. And he may be telling you tonight yeah. because I know there's somebody on this call tonight that is going through a storm. I mean, I'm talking about it seems like it's lightning. It seems like it's yeah. hell and it seems like it's rain. 
is just coming down, but you got to take refuge in the Lord. He says, be still and know that I am the Lord. Sometimes we're trying to move when God says, just be still. Sometimes we're trying to figure it out when God says he's already working it out. And we can confidently say that greater yes. is he that's in us yes. than he that is in this world. Because yes. he is our strong rock and our refuge. Yes, I love he is. I see, this is what the world wants to do. The world wants us to have shifting peace mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and shifting faith. Mm -hmm. The world wants our uh, peace to shift depending on what's going on. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Or our faith to shift. Like, no, we must continue to be co uh, connected to God yes. and continue to exhibit the peace yes. that can only come from God. Yes. Have I got a witness? Does that make sense? To somebody mm -hmm. right? Yes. Because David said, I will not run mm -hmm. even if the mm -hmm. foundations of the world are falling apart. David said, I'm going to be still. I'm going to be yes. steadfast. I'm going to stay connected yes. to God. Have mm -hmm. I got somebody on here tonight mm -hmm. that's been through one or two storms and Ooh. you stay connected yes. to yes. Yes. your coast. You didn't waver. You stood still and you made it through that storm. And it was only because Come on. Come on. you depended on God. Yes. You stayed that's connected. It. It. Because people that's turned it. on you. Hey, come on now. Yes. Some people left you, but God said, I will never leave leave you leave nor you, you. You. you stood on God's word because yes. God he said he's not a man that can lie come on y'all he will be there with you when everybody else has left you and I love this because God is the same yesterday today and forevermore but notice this the text said foundations yeah yeah it didn't say foundation it said foundations this leads me to believe that there are some people who build their foundations on their marriage mm. and marriages can fail. Marriages yes. can go through storms. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. But when the storm come, can you stay connected? Mm. Man. Some people build their foundation on their job. Mm. And we already know jobs come and go. They can be here today. They can leave tomorrow. But can you mm -hmm. still stay connected yeah. if that happens? Yeah. Some people build their foundations on money. <laughs> now, y'all know money comes in this hand and it's gone out that hand. Mm -hmm. God is the same today, yeah. Thank you, Lord. yesterday, today, and forevermore. Matter of fact, yes. I've learned that to just trust God in every area of my life because yes. he is the great provider. He said he will supply all of our needs according to the riches and glory in Jesus Christ. You ought to know there's somebody on here tonight that Thank if it God. had not been for God yes. in the midst of that, that financial breakthrough or financial uh, difficulty, you would have lost it a long time That's ago. Right. But right. God is a God that gives you a bounce back yes. season. That's yes. why God gave me that comeback series because yes. somebody, you just came back from a setback and yes. God yes. said you did it because you stayed connected to God. Yes. That's why my favorite scripture is Psalms 20. Seven and eight, some trust in yeah. uh, chariots, some trust in horses, but we will trust in the yes. name of the Lord yes. because the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and are safe. Yes. That he is our refuge. Yes. Mm. Huge. That's why we can't put more emphasis on the blessings than we do the blesser. Because blessings can go and come. But blesser, he's, he's going to always be there. As a matter of fact, he says he will open up the window of heaven. You thought that blessing was something. You ain't seen nothing yet. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. You thought that job was something. You ain't seen nothing yet. Thank you, Jesus. One door has to close for another That's door right. to open. I think yeah. I'm preaching to somebody tonight because yes. you know that this stand connected to God has opened some doors for you that you didn't even see coming. Mm. 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 So that's why we I've made it in my mind. I'm not going to put all my hope and trust in the world system. Yeah. Because I made up my mind, my hope is built on nothing less yes. than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I yes. dare to trust in the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Yes. Because yes. On, that, on Christ, the solid rock I stand, yes. all other grounds are sinking yes. sand. You got to be careful that you're not building your foundations on, on sand. All right. 1 Corinthians 3.11 says, for no one can lay a foundation other than that which is laid by Jesus Christ. 
Mm. And I love that family because you got to be careful. Like Lady Val, she was already in my uh, message tonight. So you got to be careful mm -hmm. of the cracks in other people's foundation mm -hmm. that don't cause cracks in your foundation. Amen. Ooh, this is Amen. a season, is a season yeah. to do an inspection and make sure people are not people yes. are helping you build your foundation instead of destroying your foundation. I right. need some people that can help me yeah. build on my foundation, yes. not try to tear my foundation down. Mm. You need people that's going to build you up mm. and not try to yes. tear you down. Mm. You need mm. to have people around you that's going to mm. encourage you mm. and not mm. always mm. discouraging you. Mm. You need people around you that's going to come with a praise report mm. every time. Mm. Come on now. Always Preach past come on, somebody. God will be with you if you stay connected. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But what yes. I love, God said this, he never said this road would be easy, mm -hmm. but I don't believe he brought us this far to leave us. Come on, the Lord is saying some of the problems that we could be going through and some of the storms we could be going through is 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 uh, is uh, coming back and just predicated on the storage that we're keeping. Real talk. Mm -hmm. um, some storms may be connected to the storage. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you what you're keeping in the storage? Come on, come on. Sometimes that foundation seems like it's cracking, seems like it's falling apart because you got too, too much, much excess too much. storage going on. Sometimes that's why I say, God, whatever's in me that's unlike you, remove it. Yeah. God, empty me out because I need yeah. to be filled. That's why we have refill on yeah. Wednesday because yeah. Yeah. we need yeah. to we need to take some stuff out yeah. and put yeah. the, some stuff back in. Yeah. That yeah. storage must make sure we got to do inventory on the stores, mm -hmm. the people mm -hmm. that's us and what we are storing yeah, on the inside of us. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit resides in us, but we cannot allow all this foolishness to be in us. It cannot, can I just say it like I want to say it tonight? Mm -hmm. and, and, and we're trying to carry some stuff. We're trying to carry excess weight. And sometimes that's why it seems like the foundations are coming down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You wasn't intended. That was, God didn't intend for you yeah. to carry their problems. God yeah. didn't intend for you to carry that job, that weight on that job. Sometimes we got to give some stuff and give some people to the Lord. Come on, y'all. Come on. Yeah. If you love them. No, I know that's right. the best for them. But if mm -hmm. we just want the best for the ones that we love, we're going to pray. We're going to give it to God. And yes. we're going to be there when God tells us to be there. Because yes. we got to make sure that we're protecting our peace at yes. all costs. At all times. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 The Bible declares and it tells us that we must be hearers of the word and doers of the mm -hmm. word. Because if we're just hearers of the word, we're not, we're not, we're, and not doers, then we're not totally yeah. healed. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Come on. Because God has called us. That's the only way we're going to build the foundation that God has uh, laid for us. We can build on it because if we're hearers and doers of the mm -hmm. word. And even when we're hearers and doers of the word, Guess what? When the storms come, you don't just go through the storm, you grow through the storm. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, 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 I said, I'm tired of, of just going through the storm. But then God showed me as I go through the storm, I'm actually growing. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So, so sometimes you don't have to just throw a pity party in the storm. Mm -hmm. you praise God. For the storm, because the storm. some storms mm. come so we can grow. It's, yes. it's the in you. Because if it was not for the pain, you would know you had that power. If it was not for that struggle, you would know you had that strength. If it wasn't yeah. for that one door closing, that new door wouldn't have opened up. That's oh, why my setback goodness. was a setup for your comeback. Mm -mm. So thank mm. God yeah. for the storms and don't just yeah. go through them, Lord. roll through them. Lord. Yeah. Matter of yeah. fact, I'm not going to take that test again. I've already yeah. taken that test. I've grown. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Yeah. So, so not only must we stay connected to God, but watch mm. this. We must stay consistent with God. Wow. Stay wow. connected, stay consistent. Connected mm. and it says it in verse four. The Lord is in his holy temple. The mm -hmm. Lord is on his holy throne or heavenly throne, I'm sorry. He observes everyone on earth and his eyes examine them. Watch this, even with all that we are going through or have gone through, God is still in control. Ain't he though? When yes. I turn on yes, the news and I see 
I see the war that's going on. Even when I see the violence that's going on in this city, I can rest and stay connected and stay consistent because I know God is in control. But the problem is, you got to be careful because Romans 12 and 2 says, do not be conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of our minds. And the only way we can be transformed and not conform to this world is by staying connected and consistent. Wow. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. the only way that we won't fall back into the world's way of doing things. Yeah. Come on, y'all. You're not that holy. You're not that holy. Right. The only reason you're able to stay stay put and, and keep your hands off some people is because you're connected and you're consistent. That's the only reason you don't have to back out there doing what you used to do. Can we just be real tonight? Jesus. Come on, I'm not that holy. Some Jesus. people say you that holy, but no, I'm not that holy. Not. That's why I stay Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, uh, you know, there's some invitations you just can't take. Just oh, can't go God. to. Ain't that it? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 because and it's not that I'm that I'm too holy. It's just that I'm not holy enough. Um, it doesn't. That's, uh, that's too real for some people. But the Bible tells me God, God sees all, and He sees the situation that mm -hmm. we're in. Matter of fact, God knew that the foundations would fall mm -hmm. before they fell. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Uh. God knew the marriage wasn't going to work before it failed. God knew that job that let you go was going to let you go before it let you go. Yes. All right. Come on. Come on. But you stay connected and you stay consistent. So therefore, your mm. setback was a setup for your comeback. I like that. Hey. Amen. Hey. That's why you can't be a silent saint. You got to tell people about when that door closed. You got to tell people, yeah, I've been through a divorce, but God, come on. He but God. You got to tell but people God. that I was on my sick bed, but look at me now. You got to tell people that I was out there in the street yes. on the corner, but look at me now serving yes. in church. Don't be ashamed yes. of what you did because you can yes. give God praise for what you are doing now. Mm. But, Thank you. Yeah. In other words, David is saying Jesus. the Lord is in total control that whatever we may be facing, it didn't even catch him off control. It didn't catch God off out of control. Oh, God. By surprise. By surprise. Uh -huh. That's why the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. Because there's some things that we see that other people see that messes them up, but it don't mess us up because we continue to walk by faith. Yeah. Because we know that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly. Above all, we can think as we imagine. And we know that that war that's going on, God is still in control. It, yes, didn't, yes. You know, it didn't catch him by surprise. It's in the Bible. That's why we know that these things that are happening is because God forewarned us. And now we have to stay connected and consistent. And in other words, we have to keep the faith. Somebody say, keep yes. the faith. Keep, keep the faith. faith. In keep fact, the somebody faith. type it in there. I got to keep my. I got to keep. I got to keep my faith. I got to keep the faith because God. God tell, He's telling us, family, in this season to examine our lives. He says, and not only examine them, but trust the foundation that we are standing on. Maybe that's why He told Peter, Simon Peter, upon this rock I am building my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. In other words, God says, I'm, I'm building a foundation on your. Like mm. that the gates of hell would not be able to prevail. Mm. You know, we go to 5060 East 62nd every Sunday. That's a building. We call that the church. But do you not know that mm. you are the church? Not only is that a foundation over there mm. on that building, but you have a foundation that's under you that can't be rocked, that can't be cracked, that can't be, can't be destroyed. Mm. destroyed. God mm. says, upon this rock, I build my church yeah, and the yes. gates of hell shall yeah, not prevail. It's a key. It's, it's it's, it, it's imperative that we make sure we have a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. And I know, uh -huh. I know this because when I was an inspector for hood, I know one thing, there's four things that they look for. Mm -hmm. That's very important to the house, to the, to the, to the, to the life of the house. And that's plumbing, electrical, mm -hmm. the HVAC, the roof and the foundation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The foundation. Mm -hmm. Now, the foundation, that's fine. Mm -hmm. The foundation is a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. Everything else can be maybe fixed or, or bought, put a new one in there. But when it comes to the foundation, if anything's wrong with the foundation of the house, deal breaker, you got problems. 
Yeah, Why yeah. am I saying that right now? Because the foundation is the key to the house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not talking about the house that we're sitting in right now. I'm yeah. talking about that temple of the Lord that you are, yeah. that you are yeah. living right now. You are a, the temple of the Lord. God says that foundation has to be solid mm -hmm. in order for you to, to, to weather the storms. That's why it's key for the a house to have a good foundation so it can weather the storms. And that's mm -hmm. the only reason you've been able to weather some of the storms you've been through because you have a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. My God, my God. Thank Jesus. you, Jesus. And Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 talking about trusting in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the issue sometimes too is when we have to um, trust the Lord, we're praying and we have to still trust the Lord even when Ooh. things don't come out the way we thought that mm -hmm. they should Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, we just, you know, we we just experienced some of that. You know, yeah. no, I mean the praying and the fasting and the believing, and you know, of course, you still believe, but you have to, even when things do not work out the way you or the way we thought they right. should should right. work out, we yes. have to understand there's an accept acceptance to That's God's good. sovereign will. That's good. He That's knows, right. It's His will. Knows, it's His. He it's knows his more will, than we ours. know. So that's another aspect of trust. Is yes. easy to trust somebody when you get everything you want. Come ain't on, it? It's on. really easy. <clears throat> but what about when you don't, when things don't work out your way? You have mm -hmm. to understand that God, like you said, is a God that will never lie. He cannot lie mm -hmm. and accept his sovereign will that's for it. your life. That's it. Right. Mm -hmm. that's it. All right. Amen. That's that faith. 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 Because faith is seeing light with your heart when all your eyes see is darkness. When everything is falling off, falling apart around you, faith when things are dark, when we're walking in this dark world that we're in, you yeah. see the light yeah. because of your faith. Yeah. And we have to continue to walk yeah. by faith. Yeah. And we have to continue yeah. to That's trust right. God by faith. We have yes. to, to lean on our faith because yes. and giving up is not an option. I think somebody needs to shut down. Because I think the enemy's yeah, trying to yeah. he's trying I'm to put fear in somebody even on today. And you felt like, I don't know what you felt like quitting and giving up on, but God says, no, you cannot quit. You cannot give up because the race is not given to the swift nor the battle to mm -hmm. the strong, but you got to hold on to that faith and endure. Mm -hmm. And I speak endurance you, over Lord. somebody Jesus. even right now yes, because weeping may endure for a night, yes, but Jesus. joy but comes in the morning. Hello. And I think somebody <laughs> needs to just go ahead and type it in a comment. And just say good morning. Come on, good yeah, morning. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new season. Yeah. A fresh anointing is coming your way. It's a season of prosperity yeah. and power. Yeah. And you have to be ready, like I said Sunday, to receive it. Mm. Mm -hmm. on, man, I'm about to airdrop some stuff yes. on you, but your faith <laughs> must be connected yes. and you must be open to receive what oh. God mm -hmm. on the bring your way. And yes. I just wonder on a Wednesday night, is anybody yes. ready to receive that breakthrough, receive mm -hmm. that blessing, receive yes. that deliverance, receive that healing? Sometimes yes. we we got to receive it with our hands open and our, our hands up. But, but what did you say? What did you say? You still got to be close. Still got to be close. You got to be close. That's to get the airdrop. Is. To Look get that airdrop. That's what connection You have is. to be close. You Sometimes be to close. receive it, you have to be close to the Father. That's you have it. to be close to the and Father. And consistent. I love yes. it. I love it. But always remember that God is in control. Yes, you is. know, it, uh, 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 my baby, uh, our baby in uh, Alabama, you know, I, I gave her a sign and I said, you know, sometimes these analogies are hard to come by. And so she been working for me. She be sending them to me, y'all. She be sending them to me. And she sent me this video and this guy, he was talking and I, I, I wasn't going to open it up at first. He looked kind of rough. I was like, what is this she sending me? Dude was tatted up on his face and everything. And I don't opened it up. Look, I know I don't judge the book by its cover. And I hit it and I started listening to it. He said, you know what's crazy? He said, we will ride a bus. 
and we will we will we will put we will uh put our trust faith in our trust in the driver yes. Yes. we will get on a plane yes. and we will put our faith and our trust in the pilot he said we will even take a cruise and get on a ship and we don't even see the the captain, the captain but we will put our faith and our yes. trust in the captain yes. and how much more can we put our faith in a driver how much more can we put our faith in a pilot how much more can we put our faith in the captain and we don't put our faith in god who yes. owns all Jesus. So that's all I want to tell you tonight. Matter of fact, we're sitting in these chairs right now but and we believe and we trust in that these chairs won't up. fall. Won't we fall have more. to trust God that we can do the same yes. thing in our lives. And that's all I want to speak yes. tonight. Stay connected yes. and yes. stay consistent yes. because yes. stay confident yes. even in the chaos because mm. God is in control. Mm. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Let's prepare to go to God. In. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to ask Minister Bev if she can pray, to, pray as we uh, prepare to, prepare to close or prepare to pray. But I want us to ask God, invite God into that space. Thank you, Lord. Come on, invite him into Thank that room right there. Thank invite him into Lord. wherever you are right now. If you're in the car, pull over for a minute. Invite him into that car. Because you need God right now in this season to have confidence in the midst of chaos and to let him know that he is in control. He is in control. Whatever you may be going through right now, you can catch God by surprise. It catch catch us by surprise, but nothing can stop. Thank you, Father. We thank you right now, dear Heavenly Father, for midweek feel, refill, dear Heavenly Father. We thank you, dear Lord, for showing up and just filling us up yet yeah. again, dear Heavenly Father. We thank you that in the midst of chaos, you are our confidence, dear Heavenly mm-hmm. Father. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, as long as we stay connected, dear Heavenly Father, that mm-hmm. we and consistent, dear Heavenly Father, we can keep on walking in faith, God. We mm-hmm. thank you for a word of encouragement on tonight and pray right now for every man, woman, and child on this phone, dear Heavenly Father, on the, in this conference, this virtual sanctuary, dear Lord, that you will touch their homes, that you will touch their lives, you'll touch their marriages, you will touch every situation in their lives, dear Heavenly Father, that we, in the midst of chaos, can be confident in a God that can do all things but yes, fail. So we yes, thank God. you for yes, being Lord. an unfailing God. We thank you yes. for being a loving God. We thank you for being a God that comes yes. after the one thank if we go missing Jesus. God. We thank you, God. Yes. for your healing power, your Ooh, grace and your yes. mercy. We thank you on tonight, dear oh, Lord, that you, you already Lord. worked something out that somebody's worried about. We thank, thank you, you that you already opened the door that they thought mm. was still closed. We thank mm. you on tonight that somebody's already healed in mm. a spiritual mm. realm, dear Heavenly Father, even though they don't feel it in their mm. body. So thank on tonight you. we say thank you that in thank the midst of chaos, thank you are our confidence. Mm. Now yes. God, refill our pastor, refill our first First Lady God, yes, keep Lord. us, God, safe, God. Keep us with you, dearly Father, as Thank we you. leave the virtual sanctuary, but never your presence. Yes. In Jesus' yes. mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God, praise. Come on. Amen. Give them praise. praise for that keeping Amen. power. Come on. Amen. That sustaining power. Yes, yes. yes. If you only knew what you've been through. Come on. Somebody Woo! praise Amen. God Amen. for being Thank a keeper. You, God. Oh, for yeah. being a keeper. Mm. Yes. Mm. Thank and praise mm. God for that word on tonight. Amen. Mm. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Listen, we're Amen. not going to keep you too much longer, but I see we have some names that I'm not familiar with. So we always want to oh. make sure that if anyone's on the line, if you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, mm-hmm. we want to <laughs> offer Christ to you. Yes, you can accept him even in this on this platform, yes. in this space. Yes. If you yes. want to offer Christ to you, what you can do is you can call me right after this. Uh, right after this call, once once we log off, give me a call and I'll mm-hmm. I'll walk you through the Romans Road of Salvation. We'll mm-hmm. talk about it. We'll make sure we connect you with Christ. And also, if you want to be connected to the Spot Church, we would love to be your Spot family. I would love to be yes. your yes. And Spot Church. Aren't we crazy about one yes. another? Yes, yes, yes. yes. One, big family, yes. one big family and love yes. one another. But if you got all that straight and you just came by to get a refill, yeah. we want to let you know you're Hallelujah. always welcome. Always welcome yeah. here at the spiritual place of transformation. Amen. 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 Amen.
Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just so much going on, y'all. We want to make sure yeah. we keep it, keep staying connected, staying connected yeah. and consistent. Staying you know, sometimes mm-hmm. the enemy will try to knock us off our block, but we're gonna stay connected. Yeah, stay on yeah. Uh-huh. Be right on word too. Well, also, if you if you wasn't at church on Sunday, then you have an opportunity to give your tithe or your offering. You can also do that tonight on yes. our Cash App, the Spot Spot Church Indy, Spot yes. Church Indy, and Amen. I'm. But begin to announce that on on the midweek refill, y'all, because we got some things coming up in 2024 